Tmux is a great terminal package that allows you to use multiple windows or sessions in the background of your terminal. That way you can use the sessions instead of your terminal and exit out of those sessions without affecting your terminal. So we'll check this out because it's great for headless use. Let's start up a terminal first and typically you're not going to have this package installed. So you're going to have to install it for yourself through the terminal. We can do that by typing sudo space apt space install space tmux. Of course, you can get this on other Linux distributions as well. So I'll press enter, type in my administrative password, hit yes to install things. And once that's done, we officially now have tmux. I'll make mention of other Linux distributions and how to install it. So you can do sudo dnf install tmux. That's of course for an RHEL based Linux distribution. Or if you have Arch based, you can do sudo pacman s and then followed by tmux. All right, now that we know how to install it on some of our favorite Linux distributions, let's continue on to how to use this. But first off, it's very important that you understand why this is such a powerful package. It's because let's say you've remoted into some computer, you're issuing your commands, blah, blah, blah. And let's say you're in the middle of some kind of progress or script or running something that takes a while. Well, if you get disconnected, you're done with whatever progress that you currently have. The script will end or cease working because that remote connection is now gone and your terminal session has ended. Well, this is a great way to keep that going. So it's essential to have a terminal multiplexer tool or tmux for short for your server administration needs. So simply typing in tmux and pressing enter will create a brand new tmux session. And by default, it's called session zero, but you can actually specify a session name if you want. That way you can sort through things a little easier by doing space, new dash session and then do dash s and the name of your session so i'm just gonna call this session one so we get a clear picture of what's going on here and then press enter all right at the bottom notice it says session one bash so you're currently in a bash shell running on session one and we currently have only one window open and it's window zero and then on the right hand side it gives you a little bit more information what users currently using it what the time is and the date so that's really it now you can start using tmux to run your normal commands in a session instead of a terminal shell, which will save your progress because you can always log back in and restart that tmux session. So if I wanted to like install something like sudo apt, install some package, and I got disconnected in the middle of the install, well, I wouldn't have broken packages or missing dependencies, or let's say I wanted to get something down from the web and I did wget, and I had some URL here that was going to pull down some huge file or package or what have you, let's say it was 10 gigs. Well, that's going to take a quite a while. If anything happens with this connection, well, guess what? It will end things. But as soon as I log back in, I can log back into this session, making this again, a very powerful tool. So for example, just to drive this home, if I did git clone, and I'll just clone down the master repository for the Linux kernel, very suiting here. So that's here at github.com tor valds linux.git don't have git so we'll install that first and now that i have git i'm going to rerun the clone command and it says cloning into linux let's look and see how fast this is going so it's taking a little bit we're only at about two percent now how wild would it be if something just happened to close down your terminal oh no everything's gone no it's not let's start up that terminal again i'll show you how to get back to it so first off make sure you're logged in with whatever user you were using for the last session and in order to attach back to that session that we were using, we can do tmux space attach dash session. Then I'll do a space dash T and the dash T is for target. And we called it session one. So that's what we're attaching to. And look at that. Now I'm still cloning down that repo. I'm 20% done. It's still running. Look how powerful this is for a, especially a remote or headless server. Make sure to smash that like button for me if you haven't already. Let's keep moving on. There are of course some other neat tips and tricks here. So I'll show you that by clearing things out. And since I'm in this session still, you can create a new window in the same session. So I'm, I'm just going to restart the clone process. So notice, you know, you're cloning things down, but you want to work on other things here. You can start a new window. That's another reason why this thing is so fantastic. You don't need another tab. You just have to do control B together, followed by a C. Look at that. A new window session has been created in Tmux. We have git running at zero and bash running on one. Now I can create as many as I want and I can switch between these as I want. 
Let's just, to drive it home, run that command one more time. Control B together and then C following it. I open up another bash window here. Next thing I want to show you is how to go between the sessions, right? We have zero, one, and two. So we have to know how to get between them. Well, if you do control B together and then press N, that goes to the next session. And you can keep cycling through by doing control B followed by N, control B followed by N, and so on and so forth. Really easy to scroll through. It shows you which one you're currently on, denoted by this asterisk at the bottom. So pay attention to that so you don't get lost. You're currently, again, in session one, bash here. And I can go on my way issuing commands here while things are both running in the second and zeroth session. To exit out of a session, I can do that as well. Just type in exit, that will end this current session that's running. I'm gonna end the clone as well and exit out of this. Notice I only have Windows Session 2 opened up right now. I'll show you something else that's fantastic. Let's say two people were accessing a server, which I'll pretend by starting a whole new terminal session. Well, I can log in to this Tmux session as well. And if there's only one session going on, like there is right now, we, we called it session one, you can do tmux attach as short or just tmux space a and look at that the first thing you'll notice there's some dots that just means the lowest resolution here is being matched so since this user has a smaller resolution it's kind of matching that notice what happens if i change the width here of the terminal so now that they're the same let me issue, hey, this is Savvy Nick. Notice as I'm typing in the left, it's showing up on the right. So you can actually communicate with someone on a headless server. I use this all the time on Ubuntu server, as well as on CentOS and other production environments. So I can keep track of multiple things that I'm doing, communicate with people. It's a fantastic thing to install on your computer. So take your admin skills to the next level by using this and subscribe below for more Linux and programming videos. I'm first going to exit out of this terminal, get back to focus on this one so we can issue a few more commands here to really understand things. So I showed you before, if you just type exit, you can kill a window. There's other ways to do that as well. If you type in tmux kill, that will actually give you the possibilities that you can do. You can kill a pane, a server, a session, or a window. So when we did exit, that was really similar to doing tmux kill dash window dash t for your target for our example we really only have two open now so there's really no point in doing that but this would kill the window number two and let's just give you the example so i'll just create a new one real quick now i have two of them i'll scroll right back with control bn and now i'm going to end zero notice at the bottom it disappears as soon as i specify it all right so if you want to kill the session it's easier than you think just do the kill dash session command don't have to type anything in here you're already using this session so it knows what session you're going to end just press enter after that and boom it says exited if everything went all right you of course cannot just exit out of the terminal that you're currently using or console because that's still going to keep the session alive until you've actually killed it or restarted your computer shut it down what have you one last thing i want to show you if you want to start a session even easier than before you're you're in a rut or you're real you're trying to move around real quick, tmux is all you really need to type in. And boom, you create a brand new session. Again, it's called default zero session. It's as easy as that. Another thing I'll mention is you can do exit. If you only have one window left, you can exit completely out by typing exit. And finally, if you log in as the root user here, this is a different session than one you would have with a normal user. So there, you're not gonna be able to see the commands at the roots issuing or be able to attach to a session in Tmux unless you are logged into the proper user that's currently using the session and started the session. All right, well, I think we learned enough about Tmux today. If you like this video, make sure to smash that like button for me, subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.